Hi there guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, it's Gar Pedro Pre Online, uh, cheers coming back and humouring me. Uh, we're going to finally pair up the Pteranoculus Murinus, uh, so the orange bitey things, um, the Tetty location. So um, again thanks to Sean Hackleton for lending me the mail, uh, it's been a long time but I'm going to pair them up today. Uh, before that though I want to just say congratulations to uh, Francis aka Sidex. Uh, on the birth of their little baby girl. Um, well done guys, well done both of you. Okay, so um, thanks, let's do it. Just look at the size difference on these two. She's a good six inch. And he's luckily to be pushing three, I reckon. <laughs> Usually I just leave them in the breeding box, but he's not my male, so I want to kind of oversee what's happening to make sure I might be able to, you know, save him. I'm not too keen on whacking my hands in between Terranoculus, but if I have to, I will. I've seen these guys spaz out. I usually, actually, saying that they're actually quite good, um, you know, to the to the pairs, to the males, to the to the when they're mating, they're actually quite soft for, a, for the, one of the most meanest, angriest bastards on the planet. They seem to love gently. <laughs> I don't think anything much is going to happen tonight, uh, today. Sorry, so I'm going to just record a bit more videos of other places, other spiders. And then if anything happens, I'll whack the camera on these two. Well, he's, he's quite a handsome little bugger. See his uh, tibial apophysis of the, the hooks. And the boxing gloves. Papal bulbs, the embolus, emboli. So I can give her a freaking a route. But she's amazing. Absolutely gorgeous spider. Spider. Hey everyone, so I just wanted to show you guys how the spider room is coming on. And the bits that you usually don't see. So off camera bits. Center screen now, the black shelves, that's the spiderling shelves. Uh, still a terrible mess in here. And then the middle shelf, in the middle of the screen now you'll see a grey shelf, that's going to be uh, where all the frogs will go. And some, some of the, the beetle larvae. Uh, obviously the big tank is there. Uh, the whiteboards, my clock and my BTS awards are up already. And then this is the side, obviously, that you will see in videos. Uh, tall grey shelves, and then the wooden shelves then have all the arboreal stuff on it, so mostly all the pokies. And right at the bottom is some preserved spiders and alcohol, and a Terranopelma sasmi. So, what I've been working on today, um, during the move, uh, my roach colonies have crashed because it was they were cold. So you'll see underneath where the big frog tank build is going to start. I've kind of made a box out of uh, polystyrene uh, sheets. I'll go over and have a quick look. So what's so nothing's obviously over the top of them because we still want them to breathe but we want them to be warm so take this off we've got the um, red runners then on the right and the W roaches on the left there's a heat mat in between heat mat is actually stuck onto the red runners uh, tank uh, box thing because they like it hotter again than the the W roaches or dubia roaches as someone commented <laughs> 
I say it's Dubby, man, I'm Welsh, so. Uh, yeah, so they now moving forward. I've got a big order of uh, Ws and some Red Runners coming again, so we can start the colony back up properly. I think I counted there was about 10 or 12 left in the Red Runners, and there's about 20 left in the W. Uh, a couple of males and a couple of big females, so I leave those there. Uh, and the new ones, and I think I've got like a couple of hundred come in. Um, so that's good. Yeah, so as I said, far from finished, but starting to shape up. I've got everything I need in here at the moment. Keith is in here. And for anyone who likes frogs, I'm watching the Dendrozone, the D zone. Go over, and, if you like frogs, go over and check out his. Uh, his YouTube uh, channel. He's got some awesome stuff. He's also Instagram and Facebook as well. Cool. So this <laughs> stuff on top of it, that's the breeding box of the um, the uh, Dynasties Reedy that I got. And check that bad boy out. Isn't he cool? That was a gift from Claire. Because I'm always losing my tweezers, so I know they're stuck in dead pool's head. Cool. Thanks for being patient with me guys. Uh, more updates coming soon and uh, I'll get down to a regular pattern again. Okay, cheers. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, keep coming back to the channel guys, thank you. Uh, there's a Patreon. Uh, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, if you want to help me to grow the channel and to especially, you know, to, to grow what we're doing here, to make it better, that's the best way. Um, remember the Southern Show in Brighton is going to be on the 18th of November, so that's the 18th of November, that's three weeks. Uh, it's going to be awesome, get yourself down to it. Um, what else? You can always buy some, I think there's only Terminal Palmer Saz My Spiderlings left. Um, go to the website for, and hit me up a message for that. But guys, cheers, stay safe. It's our boys all.